Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Mediocre Painting with me, Wayne. And uh, today we're gonna be working on some furniture for my wizard's tower. Got some of this uh, Deep Cuts Witch's Den terrain. And the, I like the mirror and the bird because I want to paint a bird on a stand. Set up the wet palette. Your wet palette paper will curl if you don't hold the edges down. Using my black paint, good old GW pot from the 90s. Still works, I just refill it all the time with whatever black paint I'm in the mood for. Gonna use this black to base the cauldron. I like to base most of my metallics in black. Using the decayed metal from scale 75 because I really like this color. Gonna use some old GW glaze. And this cauldron has some clear plastic bubbles in the top. So I'm gonna use some old GW glaze, the Waywatcher green on it. Didn't like exactly how light that was, so I'm going on here with some Hex Wraith Flame to give it a little bit more depth. Kind of want to bring out this cauldron a little more, so I'm going to use some Tylung 502 Brass Pigment. Using a rubber brush to kind of smash the pigment into the cauldron. Picking out the bubbles with Nasdrag Yellow, making it look a little bit more sickly green. Now I'm putting some clear coat on here, some gloss to make it look shiny, like soup do. And I like to wash my golds with either a purple or a red. I'm using the Carlberg Crimson shade from GW here to give it a little bit more depth. Green soup. Working on this mirror, using GW Wildwood Contrast on these pre-primed WizKids miniatures works pretty well for the most part. Um, we have some problem with this primer kind of sloughing off. I find that the easiest, most expedient way to fix this is to just go over it again with another coat. Anybody that knows contrast knows the stuff likes to rub off if you handle it too much. So since I'm gonna be painting these, I'm gonna hit them with a matte sealer before I do the rest of the detail work. Gonna base coat this mirror face black before I go in here with the Emerald Alchemy. Really nice blue metallic. It's not gonna be perfect, but we're gonna try and get as much of our brush strokes out of it as possible. This is mediocre painting. You want like good shit, go watch Miniac. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of gold pick out on the fixtures of this mirror. A little bit of silver pigment. Give that little bit of extra shine on, on the surface. And then we fill it in with some gloss varnish. Cause what's a mirror without it being shiny? Plus this helps affix the pigment that's on there to it. We'll paint this basin. Once again, starting with a base coat of black. And then we're gonna do some wolf gray dry brush on top of it. Gonna end up doing a couple of layers of this. I like the wolf gray cause it has a bluish tint to it. Super glue it to a 25 mil base cause it kept tipping over. Going over the wolf gray with some apothecary white contrast. Give a little bit of depth. Picking out the interior details of the basin with some gold. Trying out this uh, Woodland Scenics realistic water effect. Um, it's supposed to be a one-step non-toxic solution. Easily pours and dries clear. But uh, as we found, I mixed a little athermatic blue in here to give it a uh, kind of a clear transparent blue. Unfortunately, once this dried out, it drew up the sides and left a hole in the middle. And uh, it did this on a little water bucket I had done the same day. And even with a refill, it did it again. So I'm gonna say this is not a product I would recommend. Now we paint him a burb. Same wildwood contrast on his stand and black base coat, because what's a wizard without having a cool raven? Highlighting the wood here with uh, AK reddish gray, because I like it as a wood highlight. Highlighted the raven's feathers with coal black and painted his peepers red. Starting out with some Talisar blue contrast on the book that's gonna go and sit on top of our podium. Using AK old gold for the book binding. Hitting these gemstones with fluorescent green from AK, emerald from AK, and purple. Painted the pages on this book with bone white from Vallejo, and now I'm going over them with a sepia wash from Games Workshop to give it a little bit of an aged effect. 
and my old buddy .005 micron pen for the faux book writing. Make it look wizardy. I'm going to paint the podium that the book sits on here. You can see that spreading and that contrast, but if you just keep working it, it usually kind of stops. Dry brushing with the reddish gray, and now picking out the details with old gold. Check it out. Wizard furniture. Been on a kick here lately of doing terrain and not necessarily stuff for games. Been on my year long, like doing a baggage train and supply carts, that sort of thing. So this kind of fits in with my recent painting mood. Tell us what you're working on, and thanks for tuning in. Bye.